I think you can see this wire when I have or it's my bathroom earrings and I don't want to use up my other stuff I make my own head pins nope okay that looks almost even let's see yep doing pretty good at that now I'm able to eyeball it it's just off a teeny teeny bit and I leave it like that I have no clue what I want to make so I just start out bending and I bend and I bend and I bend start them out together so hopefully they'll end the same sorry get to the Celine in the back so make some cute little triangles just a couple because don't forget it's a head pin tosh and you need to leave room for the bead maybe maybe see and I want it to be straight so I gotta push it over I want it to go on straight and it's really interesting the people in my building <laughs> they love my little hodgepodge earrings like that down and one two three four there solicitors okay now I'm gonna take a bead I'm going to use these up. I got from Francis. And normally I'd put a little something on top, but I know I made my squiggle too big at the bottom. That's okay. Twist it the same direction that bottom is going. Ring, ring. Love it. And it's really amazing. Thank God I got from my, that wonderful idea, you know. And with this type of design, even if I unbent it, this bead, believe it or not, I know it's hard to fathom, would cover that bent spot that would have like a little indentation if you needed to straighten that out. Making my bathroom money this morning. Okay, Tosh, we'll just bring that back out a little. Break the neck. Push that up, push that back in. There's my other airline. wire I just use an eye pin or a head pin and eye pin usually but this one I'm just gonna use one eye pin this is the eye pin with the hole <clears throat> the hole in it well trust me there's a circle at the bottom there <laughs>